Hey everyone, so in this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how we can generate a low res, real time friendly asset from a high res asset. So in this scene here, we have both a high resolution rendering ready model of a speaker, as well as a much lighter, uh, lower resolution equivalent. First, we need to make sure that a low resolution model has UVs by applying an unwrap modifier to it. We're just gonna quickly flatten down those UVs and pack them. This is gonna make sure that we have no overlapping UV clusters. Next, we're gonna select our low-res model and we're gonna open up the baked texture panel by using the zero key. We're gonna assign our common PBR inputs as needed to represent a model accurately. So we need the base, the roughness, the metalness, AO, and normal. Make sure the projected from column is set to the high-resolution model. This will allow us to capture the detail from the high-resolution model onto our low-resolution model. A blue cage will appear over the model. In the Modify tab, make sure that you adjust the cage's settings in order to fully encompass the high resolution model. Output to a PBR shader and assign the baked elements to the corresponding shader inputs. When you select the normal element, various settings will appear at the bottom of the panel. Here you can define the normal tangents based on your eventual output platform, or you can simply use one of the tangent presets that are available. So there you go, you've successfully created a much lighter and more portable version of your model. This version can now be exported out into GLTF format, for example, using the Babylon plugin, which is available for free online, in order to view your model in a web browser or even create an AR experience of your products. Thanks for watching.